How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, Sector is sort of under control. We do have the last missions from the last Bloomspawn ticking out, but no way we can get them in time, so we might as well think ahead for the next Bloomspawn. We still have a four here and a four here, causing us major headaches, because if they both trigger at the same time, we, we're screwed. Like, well, we're not screwed. There is a way to survive with five, but you ideally don't want to let that happen. We do have the option of chucking prognosticers at them. Don't know if that'll work if there are four already, but they're there in case. Not that our prognosticers are actually available right now, so... Now that I think about it, we don't even have that option, so we have to survive... What is it left? 74 days? Yeah, that's going to be fun. Bit of RNG needed, but typically they don't attack, because I think it's, was it this one that just spawned? So it's probably going to spawn over here, most likely. We'll hang out in the middle, partly so we can use the frigate, and we'll wait on time. However, before that, we did get a tech marine in, so let's have a look at him. Not, pit, not a particularly big fan of tech marines. They are somewhat of a niche pick. I guess they're kind of fun on lower difficulties, but on higher difficulties, they don't have damage output of most classes, and they don't have, because you can kill their servitors, they don't have the survivability because their servitors always left out somewhere and it just gets shot. But, we will have a go, see if we can get anything good out of him. This one is trained terribly. He has an okay actual passive talent here, but this... Why would I want a tank tech marine? Just a bit pointless. So we're probably going to retrain him. We do need to retrain the purifier. I want the purifier in an incinerator state. Because that's where they're typically better at. I don't need another melee. I've got plenty of those. Um, but I'll do that later. Because it's the, the purifier at least has decent enough tree to be used while running around doing simple missions. This guy's tree is terrible. Like, literally. I think this is okay. And this... I'd, I'd have gone rather than this way. I might have gone this way. But I want like this for AP resets. So you can just do multiple things. This is how you get the damage output out of them. And this. So this is all going to have to come out. Uh, this is okay. I don't like, you know, blowing up my own servitors. It kind of... Unless it's like the last bit of a mission. It's okay on, say... A short mission, but on a longer mission, this is... You're not using it half the time. When you do use it, you're losing a resource. So, we're probably going to retrain this guy first. It does cost us our requisition. This is why we're trying to get as much as we can. And we're going to grab the extra... This is probably better than this. Just as... Like, more often than not, Purify is going to be worth so much more than extra healing. Extra combat servitor. It's just going to be extra stuff. Um... Then we have a choice of going for this first or up here. I think typically up here is going to be better. This is... Actually, no. Here is better because it's the reset for AP. We'll go up here later. And I'll decide which way around. I think I'd want to go this way, but I'll think about it when we see what actual servitors we're using. So we're going to have a servitor-based tech marine, essentially. Do do do. Debating if I want this. Probably do. Just to make that buff even better. And then we'll start going this way. And end up there, I guess. That just means that um, if anything moves next to me, kicks it away. That's actually quite a good ability for like defensive purposes. But very rarely do we find ourselves doing defensive purposes. So he can start on his training. He's not going to be of use to us till then anyway. So he's now here. We do have to wait for the other ship to come back, but that'll hopefully come back before this even finishes, so it'll be back with us for the next thing. <coughs> I just wanted to get this start. Uh, excuse me. I wanted to get this started so that uh, it's not wasting time, because like we're not going to be doing anything for while we wait for the next bloom spawn anyway. So I might head here just to grab some extra archaeotech. Like 26 is a lot, but if we're upgrading. A curve, uh, the Dreadnought, because we still haven't got the rank 3 for the Dreadnought equipment. I'm assuming that's somewhere. But we'll need that, and we'll need all the stuff for the Tech Marines. I just want a little bit more. That, however, it takes priority. Because that is requisition that 
we def we definitely need right now. Alert! Small scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Vox transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the dark tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ship's maneuvering to attack. I think we've had this one already, but I'll go for it very quickly. This one typically just always com comes out as okay. If you have enough guns, this is actually better. But this is one of the ones where if you don't have the guns, this is bad. So it's a case of if outclassed by, I think it's two, this is better. But if you're only by one, I think this is better. So we'll go with this one. This is never good. Yes, destroy them immediately. So yeah, we lose a bit of hull integrity, but yeah, we were going to repair the ship sooner or later anyway. I do need to get all the repairs down. That makes me think that probably I need to do it quicker, but we'll get there eventually. Let's go back to getting our Archaeotech. And then we'll swing around and probably hang out here. Notice. Repairs to this system have been pending for too long. The Edict's structural integrity is at risk. Okay, so we do have a surplus of services right now. I don't... Because this is another repair project going on. So, we'll probably let this finish. We'll lose free servitors in the meantime. But... This would put far too much risk on the ship. I think if we take more hull and every damage, we're in real trouble. So we'll do this one. Okay, that's blue exorcism done as well. So it's a case of do we want to start another ser uh, Reaper research right now? Or do we want to get this first? The only boss that this is relevant for would be purple, which we can't even do right now. So I might start one of the other Reapers. Then do this, then do this. I mean, in the actual story, as I said before, I'm probably going to try and get all all the Reapers done as a like side alternate history kind of thing. So we'll do that when we get there. But for the moment, let's pick a Reaper. So we definitely have the most red. Red we can, I think, one-shot, given how easily we one-shot blue. But it's a case of I'd want, if we're doing that, I think the best for red is Chaplin, Apothecary, Interceptor, Justica? Something like that. It's a melee-based squad, basically. Because you want to teleport on top of him and just rip him apart with the um, crits. So I think we'll do that. Let's start red. That does mean we're very low on seeds, but that's nothing new. The speed of this should pick up, because currently we're at minuses, because we uh, have damage on the ship. But that is being fixed, so hopefully the balloon spawn doesn't come in by the time that happens, but this will jump, I imagine. Uh, where's it gone? Here. So we've picked up the Archaeotech. We've now got a surplus, but we don't need to worry about Archaeotech anymore. And then I guess we'll head this way and just try and wait out. I want to be somewhere towards the middle so I can send the frigate one way and the ship the other. But exactly where is best? Uh, maybe there? Okay. So that's research. Uh, that's that repair gone up. That should speed up the thing. But let's get this because another one of those ship events happening will always be bad. So let's get this out of the way. It's only going to take nine days. Then we'll do this. And just get everything set up because we've got all the vital constructions done and we're just now waiting so yeah i think what else happened that day the apothecary got no all the guys came back from the mission okay that's what happened okay so oh they all go into wounded though but that's another matter let's head towards the middle and wait out wherever this bloom spawn's gonna come in yeah, I think if we head up, it'll be better. The, these, these warp storms are going to be an absolute pain, but what's new? There we go. I was wondering where that was. So we've got one there. We have to go to that one. But we have one up here. <laughs> hmm, it's not a great choice because we have to deal with both. This doesn't really matter. 
Can we send the frigate this way? Yes. Do we want to send this squad? I need to think about this for a sec. So, can I go in and select people? Yes. So this is crit on all ranged attacks. This is the boss killer. So I want this out the squad. Swapping over with the other purgator, I think. Also, this guy can get wounded. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll need to do. I'll do equipment later in a minute. You, I need you out. So, who do I want to put in instead? Because I need you, you, one of the interceptors, not sure which one. I'll figure that out in a second, and one of them. So both purgators go. Yeah, both okay. purgators actually go. I'm thinking about this wrong. Both purgators go. Dreadnought goes. Are you boss killing, Inceptor? You are boss killing, so you swap out. Or you. So long. You should be. Or are they both like this now? Did I change them both the same way? That was a mistake. Uh. Storm. No, this is. Yeah, this is AoE Interceptor. So he goes in this one. And then you. I don't think there was a difference between the Justicars, really. This guy has armor, which I guess means he's fine on that. What does the other Justicar have? Armor? That can't be right. Where's my other Justica? Ah, plus two heal when they're being... Okay. In which case, they're both kind of meh. I think they both have the exact same tree, so whichever one. I'll send the non-wounded one. I basically want to keep wounds light on this lot. So I think this is fine. I just need to give them best equipment in order to avoid uh, excess damage. So this guy goes in with whatever tier 3 is least relevant, which I think is that one. And then you've got tier 3 armor, then you've got a tier 2 storm bolter. That I want to have on the chaplain. That is a good one. But I think that's better for... which. Yeah, okay. So I think he gets this one. This is all just trying to minimize the damage we take. And then, I guess, this, since it doesn't matter, goes to any tier 3 equipment. Because that's more power level. So he's set up. What uh, armor do you have on, actually? He has the extra AP one. I want that on one of my guys, I guess. So, what's this on? Is this on a purgator? This is on the apothecary, so swap that over. Apothecary doesn't want that one. So he's set up. Just a car. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what armor as long as it's tier 3. Uh, that one, just to keep it out of the way. Gun is tier 3. Is it the correct gun, though? So this is 6 and 14. This is 8. This is better. For what he's uh, for the boss, so we'll give him this one. That's fine. Weapon. I guess we're not using the sword, so that can just go in there. And then tier three grenade, tier three that. Yeah, it's fine. So he's set up. You have tier three armor. Yeah, that, that's garbage armor, so that's fine going on you. Tier three weapon, tier three thing. Right, he's set up. And then you need an armor upgrade. Doesn't really matter which one, as long as it's not super good. I think that one's on the interceptor, that one's on the other guy. Maybe we could give him a tier 2, because I want this on the interceptor that we're taking to the boss. This doesn't really matter, but it might help. This is definitely going on the apothecary. So, yeah, the other two are taken, so I guess it's just any tier two, which, that one. 
and then the dreadnoughts are already maxed out so that should be about as high power level as we can give it best equipment we can give it so let's send that on its way and then we have to head over this way i think that's a no way we can get down here and up there at least i struggle to believe that so yeah that's all we can do for this one so let's head that way okay that's that system repaired let's get this repaired it takes like longer it uses all our things but that means the ship is in good shape and then we're going to go into this into um red reaper so it's not looking terrible yeah okay so i skipped over that cinematic just to uh do my usual and leave it as a separate video for those who want to watch it but this helps give things out okay this is in a decent place actually so that's okay slightly annoyed about how that one turned out but we'll head here do this and then head here do this okay sounds about right so they've reached there he gained a ton of experience no one got wounded bunch of servitors good everything good over there so that's cleared up one huge mech, because that would have been a tier 5, because that was so much corruption. Interesting that you do get experience doing that. Maybe maybe this would have been one of the ones where if this had been implemented earlier, it would have been a lot more useful. Because it would have been really useful for leveling up when mission uh, difficulty is also a lot lower. But, we'll move on. So, we're not going to use the Tech Marine. This, I don't think is going to be relevant. Stormbolt 3, maybe. These two, probably not. So, we're not getting much equipment out of this. We're probably going to use it mostly to try and build up a requisition. Because we've still got to retrain, retrain our Purifier. And also get any good gear we come across. Which, again, I'm not expecting too much. But we'll see how it goes. So, we have to commit to it. Because of our... Uh, uh, what's it? Is it the, yeah, it's the um, Grandmaster Report. Oh, that was what I was on about. Okay, so you're on a mission, you're on a mission, you're on a mission. Let's take majoritively the squad we're going to take in to the next mission, which I think is you. I'm going to swap the chaplain out with the other Justicar. Just because this guy has... Um, the ability to honor the chapter, which is going to be far more useful than the uh, than the chaplain, uh, what you call it, edict. Yeah, whatever those abilities are called, I've forgotten off the top of my head. So we'll get them done, and then let's quickly give everyone things. So he's got psych, he's got the psych cannon ready. Melee weapon, can we give him anything better? I'll just give him the demon hammer for now. We probably want better weapons on the purifier. You. Get these falchions because they are going to be very useful. Might want to consider. Do I want to consider upgrading them? I don't have a lot of purple, but that is a very useful ability to have. So let's invest in that. Blue doesn't matter, so we can upgrade that for free. And red, we have a decent number of, so we can have that. Okay. Then swatch out servo skull. Recto skull, yeah, that's what we want. You, I mean, the hammer's really good. It's basically, it's the hammer and the falchions are pretty much the same. So I might keep it on you, actually. You're pretty much set, other than that. And then you, since you're going to be getting all the executions, need Embringer. Yeah, that's going to be better than this. So he can get Embringer. We don't have a lot of grenades, actually, now I think about it. Might be a reason to swap out the Apothecary with the... I'm trying to think this through. Let's go with giving you your Stormbolt. He's, he's melee set up for now, so this is fine. When he's retrained, he'll switch over to a Purifier. Incinerator, sorry. So yeah, we'll do this. I think that's all right. 
maybe do I want to swap you out just so I can have more grenades oh I haven't got you in an armor actually so yeah we'll swap you out go with the chaplain just because the chat uh, we have terminator armors with grenades so they're gonna be very useful means I need to give you your good stuff which in this mission will be this one and where's the storm bolt uh, I want this on the chaplain the reason I want that one as chaplain is we're taking that into the other mission and the ability to crit for body parts is gonna be massive Other than that, you're done. Do we have armor on everyone else? Before I go into a mission completely underprepared, as usual. So, that's done. That's going to be useful. Actually, no, t take more grenades. Both the Terminators will carry all the grenades. You're done, you're done. And you at least have grenades options. We have a better armor for that. Yeah, take that instead, because we want you to get to all the executes. Okay, finally done. So, oh, and you take off all the... I forgot we were doing this as a special thing. So, basic side cannon. Basic storm bolter. Did all that prep, and I completely forgot about what the actual uh, mission was. Basic storm bolter, and basic storm bolter. Okay, now are we done? That was a lot of talking for a, not a lot of benefit. So let's see how this one goes. <laughs>